Deception is a dark tool used to keep people in slavery to death. Only the light of the gospel of truth is able to break the lie. Top of the morning to you. When we read Romans 8 with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we get a picture of two types of people who live on earth. One, the Holy Spirit people. Two, the flesh people. The Holy Spirit people are those who have Christ living in them through the Holy Spirit. The flesh people are those who do not. Although these two types of people live and work and play side by side, they are completely different on the inside. Their destinies are polar opposite. One, the Holy Spirit people have a destiny of eternal life. The other one, the flesh people, are doomed to eternal death. If you read all of Romans 8, you'll see the differences. Holy Spirit people walk uncondemned by the Spirit. Flesh people walk controlled and by the flesh or cor carnal nature and worldly unholy desires. They set their minds and pursue those things that pleases the flesh. Holy Spirit people are controlled by the desires of the Spirit, setting their minds on things that please the Holy Spirit. Flesh people's minds are hostile toward God and unwilling and unable to submit to God's law. Therefore, they can't please God and are not, are not acceptable to Him. Whereas the Holy Spirit of God directs, or the Holy Spirit of God dwells inside the spirit people. Spirit people are always putting to death their carnal nature. Flesh people want to do the evil deeds the body craves. The spirit people are sons of God. The flesh people are slaves to fear. As heirs, spirit people would share, will share in Christ's glory and his suffering. However, the sufferings don't compare to the glory about to be revealed to us, in us, for us, and conferred on us. The Holy Spirit comes to our aid, bearing us up in our weakness, and especially when we don't know how to pray. He pleads on our behalf according to God's will. Spirit people are confident that all things work together and are, are for the good for those who love God and are called according to His purposes. Word of encouragement. There really is no comparison between people who live by the Spirit and those who live by the flesh. The outward appearances of both are and can be similar. However, if you could crack them open, it would reveal amazing differences. The Spirit person is full of life and life abundantly. The flesh person is full of the stench of death and hollow inside. Why would someone choose death over life? Deception. And it's our job to shine the light of truth to help lead them home. Have a great day.